We are here in Baja California Sur, raising these fawns for a very special purpose. Peninsular pronghorn are endangered, and we are trying to help them. One way we are doing that is by giving these babies a safe place to grow up. When a pronghorn fawn is first born, it is wet. Gracias. And wobbly. First, it needs to be dried off so its soft, tan fur can keep it nice and warm. They need milk. Lots and lots of milk. Come on. I'm oh, sorry. Fawns need time to practice standing and walking with plenty of rest breaks. This little fawn can walk, but it is still too young to outrun a predator. To hide, it lies perfectly still in the sand. Until it's time to eat. Right now, as you can see, these guys are mostly tan with just a little bit of white. As they get older, their color changes and they begin to look a lot more like the adults. As the pronghorn fawns develop, they get much better at walking. After about a year, the wet and wobbly fawn is a full-grown adult. The males have large horns. The females have very tiny little horns, or sometimes even no horns at all. Five years ago, we hand raised a fawn, and he now lives at the San Diego Zoo. His name is Tsunami. Tsunami has sired numerous fawns, which has helped increase the numbers for the endangered peninsular pronghorn population. Peninsular pronghorn can run up to 46 miles per hour. This incredible speed makes them the second fastest land mammal, just after the African cheetah. 